Okay, that, so this is how to do a whipping. Now this isn't your standard whipping I'm going to show you, this is a bit more of a complex fiddly whipping. I'm not sure if it has a different formal name or not, but I think I read it in a book somewhere. I use this whipping for um, starting off my lashings when I do um, my greenstone pendants, um, but it could be used for anything. One thing is that it can't be used on a loop, so you do need to end or whatever you're using to, uh, to do the whipping on. Okay, so I've got some, I could do the whipping on this pen with this uh, bit of paracord here. I've color coded it red and blue. What you want to do is make a loop to start with. A loop like so. Okay. Um, short end out here and long end. Doesn't really matter how long it is, it can go to anything. Okay, the thing you got to do your whipping on, put the top of your um, whipping cord. Um, against it, and with the loop, this is what you're going to do the whipping with. So start next to the long end, wrap right around. Okay, step one. Right around. So it's gone over the red and over the blue. Okay, that's the first step. Make that nice and tight. Okay, and then with that same piece, we keep wrapping. Around and around. Now this is what forms the forms the outer look of the rip of the whipping um, over the blue and the yellow parts, uh, blue and red parts. Now this will start getting tangled up, so make sure you get it, keep as tidy as you can. And keep going around, around and around as many times as you want or need to go. The more you go, the bigger you want your heavy loop, though, because it does get tangled. And what comes out in the wash you'll see in the end. Okay, so for example purposes, is that four or five wraps is enough. Now to finish this off and to show the uh, benefits and the differences of this whipping is this stage here. So keep this as untangled as possible. But as you can see, the blue, the blue core goes through here underneath all the wraps and then attaches is the other end of that loop. So if we pull on the blue, it pulls that loop down through all the wraps. Keep it as untangled as possible. And tight as possible. Bring it through. This is the tricky part. If you've got trying to get these twists through. There's still one final twist in there. But now you can see that you've got a whipping. Let's see if we can sort that one out when we do the final tighten. A whipping which has both ends coming out and going through underneath all of the wraps. We pull both of them tight. There we go, that's come out. No way that thing's going to come undone. No matter how much you pull on both ends, it's only going to tighten on the top of itself. Voila. Hope you enjoyed that.